Tom Leininger has his Aurora Huskies ranked number one in Class B. They're 15-0 after a win last night. He joins us on the Truck Center Company's Hotline. Coach, thanks a lot for coming on today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your game last night, a win over Grand Island Northwest, 64-37. Uh, Always a good way to start the Central Conference Tournament, and that's with a W. Yeah, it is. You know, it was a little sloppy at times. They're, they're very aggressive and come out and kind of disrupt what you want to try to do. Um, uh, I think we fought it through it fairly well um, for the most part. Uh, we had uh, kind of even scoring 19 in the first quarter, 19 in the second quarter, and, um, you know, we kind of built a, a little bit of a lead and, and um, played all right from there, I guess. Let's go back to the, the last tournament that you guys played, which was the Gretna Holiday Tournament uh, back there you know, over the Christmas break. Uh, you guys beat Pius by 14, and then you beat Gretna by four on their home floor. How big were those two games in particular for the guys' confidence and, and just being able to say, yeah, we can play uh, at and above uh, the top teams in this class? Yeah, I, well, I think it was really big for us. Um, you know, last year we, we go 25 and two and, and, and a, played at a very high level. And so the, the bar was set pretty high with these kids. Um, you know, they demand that of themselves and, and they expect that, I guess. And, and, you know, you never know if it, 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 what, what, where you have the bar set and where it actually is, is sometimes a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, they were able to come out and, and play pretty well. You know, the Pius still hasn't been beat besides us. And I, and I see they had, they rolled again last night that, uh, a very good uh, Class A team, and um, you know Gretna, of course, uh, very very good uh, basketball team, and going to be one of the best teams to come come March too. Uh, how has it been for for this group of guys to have the bar? As you said, it was set uh, so high from last year, uh, and a nice group that came back from last year's team. Uh, almost all of your uh, your main scoring production, actually. So uh, has there been anything that has kind of surprised you so far that these guys have done? Well, no, I don't think so. Uh, you know, we, we had a, we've, we've got a sophomore that stepped in, up into our uh, starting lineup, uh, but, but I, I don't know how much of a su surprise that was because he just had a phenomenal offseason for us um, in, you know, in Shireman. And, and um, so, you know, any good surprise, I, I guess any surprises I've got so far are, are good surprises. I think the, uh, the, the kids have accepted their roles um, very well so far. And, um, you know, and, and that's, the, that's a huge thing. And, um, you know, wh whether they're playing 25 minutes a game or whether they're playing four minutes a game, I think they're playing really hard. And, and like I said, accepting their role and doing what they do best. Austin Allen gets a lot of headlines for you guys, and, and deservedly so. He'll in a couple of Tuesdays he'll be signing with Nebraska, of course, for football. But uh, your son Tommy is uh, is going off to Briarcliff, and we had a chance to to do a feature with those guys a couple weeks ago, actually in the first part of January. So uh, I got to ask, uh, since I asked Tommy what it was like playing for Dad, what's it like coaching Tommy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, it's good. I, I wish I could coach a Tommy every every year. Um, you know, he's my third son that I've coached, and. And, uh, you know, I think we have a pretty good relationship on, on the court and off the court with all three of them. And, and, and you know, Tommy was, has been no different. Um, uh, he, he, he's a very coachable kid. And, uh, you know, he just, he, he's a team player. He just, he, he's a coach's, coach's dream, actually, uh, whether he's my son or, or your son. I mean, I, it, once we get out there, I don't think it really makes that much difference. So besides those guys who are going to play at the next level, uh, Tommy's going to go off to Briarcliff, Austin, of course, to uh, Nebraska. Uh, you've got a lot of guys that have made some contributions. You made, you mentioned uh, Shireman. Henry Penner is a guy that, uh, for some reason, he just keeps popping up uh, in our highlight package that we put together every week. And uh, you've got a lot of guys that are making some contributions. So uh, let, let's shine the light on them a little bit. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, 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 we're where we're at because of, of, uh, of our team, not because of one or two players. Um, and when you take a look at us, there's just I, I just don't think there's one guy that you can say we need to stop this guy or two or three. I mean, we, we put five guys on the floor that can score. Uh, Cade Morrell has, has run the, the you know a point for us for for two years, um, and, and you just you just can't lead him. I'm open. Uh, he penetrates well. Uh, just a, a real heady player. Uh, we already talked a little bit about By Baylor. He, he's really coming on. And, you know, he had 18 last night. And, uh, shoots very well from very deep, I and mean, it, it just really stretches defenses. Uh, like you said, Henry Penner is just—he's um, kind of a highlight reel waiting to happen. I mean, he's very, very athletic. I mean, he plays a guard for us, six-five guard that can absolutely you know leap out of the gym. 
Uh, he can guard their big guy or he can go out and guard their guard. I mean, he's just kind of a, a special player. <clears throat> you know, Jordan Stevenson, uh, or, or not Jordan Stevenson, sorry, Zach Stevenson, his brother, um, you know, started all last year for us and, and, and now has kind of taken a backup role. But when he comes in the game, just plays really well for us. Uh, um, Hunter Holiday, another senior, same thing. Um, you know, comes in and just does his role. Came in last night and got just immediately got a big rebound and stuck it back in and, and then made the free throw. Uh, Trent Wilson uh, comes off the bench for us, <clears throat> and he actually started against Central City. And in the, in the start he had, he had a double-double at halftime. Um, you know, he's just a kid that attacks the glass really well, uh, offensive boards, and, and, and does some really good things for us. So, I mean, when, when you take a look at us, we're, we, we play eight kids every game, and um, – and they all contribute. I mean, we don't have anybody that 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 hurts us when we when we put them in the game. Uh, we're actually starting to play a little. Uh, Cade Reichard, a, uh, a sophomore, a little bit more too, who who really does some good things from the perimeter for us. So, um, yeah, we definitely have some depth. You mentioned Trent Wilson, and uh, that sparked a, a, a thought I had when I was interviewing with, uh, with Austin and Tommy. I asked them what it was like when Austin went out this summer with his knee injury, because I know you guys did uh, still basically everything that you were planning to do, whether Austin was with you or not. Uh, and it, it kind of allowed a guy, and they, they mentioned Trent specifically, but uh, how was it to, to kind of watch a team kind of grow over the summer when you, when you take away a 6'9 post? Oh yeah, yeah, it was fun. I mean, we the, the schedule we lined up was unbelievable. I mean, we uh, I can't I think we played um, 14 uh, college teams and we played uh, 11 Class A teams and, and and we got beat bad twice. Um, once was the very first college team we played. We weren't ready for that, uh, and then we played them well in that league from there on out. Um, and then um, we got beat bad by one Class A team. Where we, we I kind of got a little discouraged with our starters, and I just played the second team the whole second half, and they kind of rolled us. But besides that, when you take a look at the top teams in Class A, uh, we played and beat um, some of those uh, without Oz. So, um, yeah, it, it, we had a really good summer. So I want to ask, because last week we had Drake Baronic, who's a coach at Kearney in, in, in his second year, and he's a relative newcomer to, to the coaching scene. Uh, we asked him about his influences, and, and he uh, specifically mentioned coaches that he had played for and drawn inspiration from. You are a little bit more experienced, uh, shall we say, in the, uh, in the coaching profession, so I'm curious uh, who you would draw inspiration from. Well, I, in the first place, I, I, I started at Columbus Scotus, and I had some phenomenal guys to, to work under and with it, in multiple sports. Um, you know, the, the Pitts brothers and uh, Coach Lom and Coach Spenceri and Coach Peterson, and uh, th those guys are just they are phenomenal coaches and, and phenomenal people. They I, I drew a lot of a lot of X's and O's and a lot of a lot of inspiration and perspiration with those guys. So. Um, that that kind of got the ball rolling. I, I've kind of stole, you know, I I've stole a lot from a lot of people at a lot of different levels. Whether that's uh, you know a lot of the college coaches to to some of the college girls coaches. I mean, um, to to high school coaches. Uh, you know, in, in 31 years, you kind of grab, you steal from from about everybody you can, I guess. And then one last question before we let you go. What is the biggest key for this group going forward? Uh, you know, Austin and Tommy in the first part of the month uh, had mentioned that there's some, some obviously some lofty goals. So what are going to be the biggest keys for you guys going forward from this? Well, I, I think our key is just to keep, the, keep it going. I mean, um, I, I think that we are, when we played the, the, the Pius and Gretna, that tournament, you know, if you're satisfied, I think you kind of plateau. I think we, I think we're playing a lot better than what we did then. I mean, I, I, I think this team understands that that you know that doesn't mean anything. Uh, you know, quite frankly, the conference tournament is one of our biggest tournaments. Um, so hopefully, we're, we're 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 going up and up as we go every you know every game, every every practice, and and they I think they're doing that. Uh, I, I think we're improving uh, weekly, maybe even daily. Well, it should be fun to watch the rest of the way. Can't wait for that. And uh, Coach Tom Leininger with Aurora, thanks a lot for taking the time with us today. No problem. It was fun. We'll be back with more Prep Huddle Live coming up next on StriveSports.com.